In this video, we will learn about use of appropriate unit to measure the length or distance between objects. When Chanda went on a trip with the villagers, she wrote the length of some items on a paper. Today, while Chanda was cleaning her house, the paper was accidentally torn. Now, Chanda is unable to understand which is the measure of what. Now, Chanda quickly wrote the names of the objects and places that were written on that paper. On another paper like this. She then picked up a piece of paper from those pieces of paper with one meter length written on it. Kids, can you tell which of these items can be one meter in length? Absolutely correct! Peanuts and shoe are much smaller than one meter. It is possible that the length of the mat is 1 meter. Hence, the correct answer is length of the mat. Now Chanda found these two pieces of paper on which 4 cm and 22 cm were written. Now, can you match the length of the remaining two objects with their correct lengths? You can find the answer by pausing the video. Well done kids! You have found the answers to them. Because the length of the peanut is much smaller than that of the shoe, length of peanut will be 4 cm and shoe length will be 22 cm. Kids, if Chanda had written the distance between the railway station and the well on a paper, which of the following could it be? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! You have found the right answer. Because the distance from the railway station to the well is very long. We cannot measure it in centimeters. Therefore, the distance from the railway station to the well will be 3 kilometers. After all, Chanda got all the measurements written by her to match. See how she's dancing happily. Children, in this video, we learned about which units can be used to measure the length or distance between objects. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. In the previous video, we learned to use the appropriate unit to measure the length or distance between objects. In this video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Raju's father asks him to bring a piece of cloth for his shirt from the duck uncle's shop. On the way, Raju met Bablu and they went to the park to play. Raju totally forgot about bringing the cloth for his father's shirt. When he was returning home, he remembered that he had to go to the uncle's shop. But he only remembered the number 2 from the measurements his father had given him. Kids, can you tell Raju 
that what units should be used to measure the cloth for his father's shirt? Centimeters, meters or kilometers? Which one should be used? Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely correct. Raju should use meter for the piece of cloth for his father's shirt. Because the 2 cm measure would be too short and 2 km would be too long. Raju immediately reached the uncle's shop and bought a 2 meter long cloth for his father. When Raju was returning home, in a shop on the way, he saw a computer monitor like this. On the monitor, the screen size was written in this way. But only the number 45 was written below that. Raju came to know that the length of the screen of the monitor was 45. But Raju did not understand which unit was used for it. Children, can you tell for the length of the monitor screen which unit should be used next to 45? Absolutely correct! Because both 45 meters and 45 kilometers would be very long. Raju should write the length of the computer screen using centimeter. So in this way, what would be the screen length of the monitor? 45 centimeter. Now Raju was about to reach his house. Just then, on the way, he saw it was written on a stone plate on the ground. Pampapur 40 But the unit below was erased. Raju started thinking that the distance from Pampapur to there was written on that stone. Now which unit should be written in front of 40? So that the people going there can get the correct idea of distance to Pampapur. Kids, can you help Raju? Well done kids! You have found the correct answer. Because the distance between places is very long. We cannot write them using centimeters or meters. Hence, the distance from there to Pampapur will be 40 kilometers. Raju found the right answer with your help. Then, he took a piece of coal and wrote 40 kilometers in this way and returned to his home. Kids, in this video, we have learned about some interesting examples in which appropriate unit is used to measure the length or distance between objects.